Howdy folks, another 4th of July has come and gone and hopefully you had a really good time going to barbecue or two, watching fireworks, spending time with family and friends, and perhaps you actually thought about what the day represents. You know, for me, I find myself thinking about the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights and the U.S. Constitution. And you know, I was struck by the three similarities between our nation's Constitution and an effective drug-free workplace policy. So here they are. Number one, they're user-friendly. Like the Constitution, your policy is the foundation of your program. It should be easy to read, easy to navigate, and make sense. The last thing you need is a confusing document that no one understands. That can lead to frustration and have no one use the policy at all. I mean, how long has it been since you read your policy? And I mean read it word for word. Do it and highlight any sections that you think need clarification. Number two, it has clear protocols. The Founding Fathers made sure the Constitution had instructions on what to do if XYZ happened. So should your policy. As you're rereading your document, check to see what it says about these two common issues. Alcohol consumption at company-sponsored events and what to do if an employee is taking a prescription med. Are those expectations clearly articulated? Number three, it is not reactionary. Constitutional amendments aren't made on a whim and neither should your changes to your policy. Every word counts. So don't change one until you consult with a drug-free workplace expert. You know, just as the U.S. Constitution is the foundation on how our nation operates, your drug-free workplace policy governs on how your company's drug-free workplace program operates. So go read it, know it, and make sure it gives you the guidance and protection your workplace needs.